quantum technology has long been confined to the lab, but that's changing. We headed to Colorado, a state at the forefront of quantum research, to see it firsthand. As we passed the University of Colorado, we entered the heart of innovation. The university is known for Nobel Prize-winning breakthroughs in quantum physics, but today we're looking forward, not back. Not for coffee, though. Take a closer look. That's Matthew Kinsella, CEO of Inflection, starting his day. Inflection has emerged as a leading innovator in quantum technology, with its roots tracing back to 2007, when Dr. Dana Anderson, a professor at the University of Colorado Boulder, made advancements in cold atom technology. With small-scale systems for cooling atoms to near absolute zero using techniques like laser cooling and magnetic trapping, Anderson made unprecedented control over quantum systems a practical reality. This breakthrough led to the founding of Inflection. Its first product consisted of vacuum cell components crucial for stabilizing atoms within quantum environments. In 2018, the company secured significant venture funding to fuel its expansion and develop a quantum computing platform based on neutral atom technology. This led to the creation of atomic clocks and sensors adopted by the Department of Defense and NASA for ultra-precise navigation, timing, and even battlefield surveillance. We'll explore more about neutral atoms later. First, let's get back to Kinsella. He was the investor behind the 2018 funding and is now the CEO. His mission? To commercialize Inflection's quantum solutions for a new market. And that's why Kinsella needs his coffee. At the root of everything we do is the ability to precisely control atoms using lasers and then layering software on top of that to make those atoms do amazing things. Well, I'm excited to see it at work then. Yeah, absolutely. Are you ready to head into the office? Let's do it. Welcome to Inflection, Diana. This isn't just another office, it's a front line of a quantum race with Inflection's victories on full display. Quantum is very much in its transition from the research world, so basically existing in the lab, um, to the commercial world, which is existing in the world. And there's a huge chasm that takes place between those two areas. And, and Inflection's mission from the very beginning has been to commercialize quantum. All right, we're now inside the lab here at Inflection where all the magic happens. I'm joined by Evan Salim, the Director of Engineering. So what happens in here? So uh, a lot of things happen in here. It said to look up, why? Laser safety. So you can see here on the bench, this is a physics package for a optical atomic clock. So inside of this cylinder, is a, 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 a vapor cell that has the actual atoms that we're using, which are rubidium, inside of it. The fi light comes in through this fiber and is delivered to the atoms. There, there's a, a bunch of processes that happen to the light that allow us to then detect uh, the effect of that light on the atoms and then use that to make a measurement, which we use to, th to stabilize the laser. And that, uh, that, that stabilizing the laser to the atomic sample is what gives us a very good frequency reference that we can then use to make a clock. That clock is called Ticker, Inflection's first commercial product. It's a quantum atomic clock that delivers timekeeping precision 1,000 times greater than conventional clocks, ideal for critical infrastructure like telecommunication networks, data centers, and financial centers, where any disruption in timing can lead to significant issues. Any place that you might need to use a GPS signal, a clock is useful. That's right. We've been seeing all these things in the news where access to GPS gets interrupted. And why does that matter? Because every data transaction, network communications are all dependent on a timing signal that comes from GPS. So GPS actually have atomic clocks on them right now that we're using every day, and most people don't realize that. But if you get access to GPS is interrupted, suddenly your, your network goes down, your server goes down, you can't, you can't execute your financial transactions. If you have a clock at your data center, which actually Inflection has a clock installed in a data center somewhere, doing experiments to prove the use there, now you're GPS resilient. Now you have a local timing signal. You can maintain your communications network. So there's a lot of really important commercial applications for clocks, 
But in contested environments like Ukraine, where you might have GPS jamming intentionally by an adversary, if you have a local clock, you can still maintain your communications network. It's clear that quantum technologies like these clocks aren't just theoretical. They have the potential to revolutionize industries critical to national security, economic stability, and technological leadership. However, with such power comes risk. Quantum computers could one day break current encryption methods, creating significant security challenges. That's why the United States government has invested billions in quantum innovation. Inflection has been a beneficiary with ticker born out of a DARPA research project. But the push for innovation doesn't stop there. The next step, a quantum RF device nearing commercial availability. This device detects and processes radio frequency signals with exceptional sensitivity, even to weak or hidden signals, reducing the need for multiple antennas. We're turning an atom into an antenna, which is kind of wild. Yeah, that is wild. Is there appetite, though, to replace what we have now? I mean... If it's working, why why change it? It, it could be a number of different reasons, um, but there's a lot of duplication. If you have to buy, let's say, like 15 antennas to put on a car or a bunch of antennas to put in a phone, um, ultimately, you could save a lot of money by just doing all of one antenna. And Flexion's ability to scale down the size of its devices stem from its focus on cold atom and neutral atom technology. Cold atoms cooled to near absolute zero allow precise control, while neutral atoms unaffected by external electric forces are highly stable and manipulable by lasers and magnetic fields. This flexibility helps Inflection craft new applications and scale them for commercial use. Something that makes Inflection special is that the modality that we picked as a company, Neutral Atoms, has this flexibility to make so many different applications. It's a same core technology of manipulating atoms with lasers, but it has such a flexibility. Whereas you, if you look at superconducting quantum computing, if you manufacture a junction, a superconducting junction, to make a qubit, that's all it's ever going to be. It speaks to how early we are in the evolution of quantum. The market is still testing different approaches, especially for quantum computing, which many consider the long-term pot of gold in quantum. We saw an early prototype of Inflection's quantum computer. The company has sold devices to the UK and Japanese governments for research, underscoring the current phase of the quantum computing race, the research stage. It'll be revolutionary for drug discovery. How could we um, know how a drug is going to interact with Diana's unique molecular makeup inside of her? Like a computer could never model that. A quantum computer can model that. Experts predict it could take another decade for quantum computers to fully realize their potential. One of the biggest hurdles is their high error rates. Quantum bits, or qubits, are prone to errors due to decoherence and noise. Developers are working on algorithms to harness their power. And as you can see, their size, which can sell a hopes to shrink to the size of a Dell desktop. Part of what I always liked about inflection, going back to the seed investment that I made, was it wasn't this binary bet that maybe we get a quantum computer or we don't. I'm biased. I think neutral atoms are going to be uh, one of the ones that gets there first. Um, but uh, I do think this is a very sound strategy, though, on how to how to bring quantum into the world with products that are here and now that they're end market opportunities for, which pe customers pay us money for, which we can then use to fund our operations going forward. It's that business mindset that led Inflection to appoint Matthew Pincella as CEO in April 2024. But the road ahead won't be easy. Quantum still faces big challenges and plenty of skepticism, which is why this isn't a quick win. It's a long-term game shaping the future of technology. Companies like Inflection aren't just building new tools. They're opening doors to possibilities we once thought impossible. Curious what those possibilities are? Stay tuned and you'll stay connected. Till next time, I'm Diana Blass.